everyone welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be organizing this little area here this is going to become ray and Ra's play area we have bins here and i brought down i don't know if you can see it but i brought down a little white thing from their room um as extra organization down here um they have something new in their room which i will show you which i'll show you in another video but we're getting ready to um clean up all of this and make it look like something other than a hot mess so that's what i'm getting ready to do now so this is the current state of the uh, play area we have toys just everywhere with no sense of organization so we're getting ready to change all of that so watch me work we have these little crayola bins here and so I'm going to use this to put their toys in. I have baby toys. I'm going to put those in the yellow one. Toys. So I'm going to organize them by like cars and one and probably animals and figures and another one. And right now I'm just throwing them all in the bin, but I do plan on going through and bleaching these toys and cleaning them really well. a lot of his art stuff here so I gotta put that in his art bin which I'm gonna bring over here and put it like probably over here going to go get another bin for his um like small toys that he's gotten over the time from like McDonald's and places like that so I'm going to get another bin for that so I have a green one here and I'm just going to continue Putting stuff in there. This goes in his art box. This goes this goes in his art box, so I'm gonna put that in there. We have some little figurines for him to paint. Don't know how it all got mixed up, but Toys that I don't really like or that are really, really small or I see that he doesn't really play with, I usually just get rid of them. So I'm doing this usually when he's asleep. So I don't have to worry about him telling me, oh, I want it. I want to play with it when he hasn't played with it like ever. So I usually get rid of a lot of toys during this time, especially toys that are like, what are we going to do with that? Or if they're really little and I just don't want that little stuff like just around. For example this little thing here like that is so little like you're never going to really play with that and there's a baby that i don't want to choke on the little stuff so it, it's got to go so i have three bins here um with all the stuff that was on the floor there are more toys um so this is not the end here this is just the very beginning of their toys but i want to just clean those off of the floor first and I'm getting ready to sweep this little area here. So I'm going to move everything to the side so I can get their area swept really nicely for them. And then I'm going to put the mat, you'll see that in a second, down for them. So I'm just going to put these on the shelf and I'll take them back off as I need them. So I went ahead and put the um, little cubes onto the shelf just to put them away for right now and they look really cute. They look really cute and playful so I'm really liking that. I'm getting ready to sweep and put down the mat.
Now I'm going to put down their mat. That's what's on this table here. So this is the mat that we have here. They look like this. Um, I realized um, the other day that they're not nearly, it's not nearly as big as we want it to be. So we're going to have to go get another um, set of this. So that way they both can play at the same time. So we're definitely going to do that. And I want to get something to put on their um, wall here. So this is what I have. So far we have our mat down on the floor. And we have our little storage there with the bins that are filled with some toys. I do want to add something on their wall, probably like a map or something. We'll see. But I just went ahead and did that. And like I mentioned, it's not nearly as big as we want it to be, so both boys can play. We do want this to expand out this way just a little bit more. So I'm going to go buy more of this little um, soft pad here. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. But yeah, and then I want it to come down here a little bit more too. <sighs> Sorry y'all. So two on the side here and then two down at the bottom and I think that'd be perfect. Alright now that we have the mat part we just start getting all the other stuff. So with these little things here the big um, action figures I'm not sure exactly what to do with these big old things. I guess I can just put them over there to the side but I don't want it to look crowded but let's just see what it looks like. that and I really don't mind it like that I mean it's a play area and of course we're not expanding the mat that way we're expanding it this way and down this way so I think it's fine that it's off to the side Raylan also has a bunch of figures that look like this they're like a little um they're a little bit bigger than the figurines of course so he has a lot of these and I want to get like a toy box for him but Sorry, just want you guys can see me. I want to get a toy box for him, but I don't have a toy box. I do have something that resembles a toy box for right now, and I think it'll work. I'll show you what that is. So I don't know if you can see this. It's like this little um, box thing here. So this is what it looks like. It has a top. The top is soft where he can actually like sit on it. So. I think I'm going to put it like along that wall. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, it doesn't really go with like the colorful theme. So I'm definitely going to be looking for something. But I think for right now, it's going to serve the purpose of what I needed to serve it. But I know exactly what I want to put right here, which is great. So even if I get them like a little white toy box or something like that, it'll work in this little area. So we're going to work with the like whole theme. But I do like... Having it really, really colorful over here, especially since their room is kind of a gray and blue theme. So, we're just going to put these little toys in there. Oh yeah, I have another one of these little bins, so I'm going to put that on here as well. And I'm also trying to get this together for like their videos, so they have like a nice little scenery in the back of their videos. We actually have a red too. And their red has like all the educational stuff in there. So this is the red bin. It has like puzzles, workbooks, and just a lot of different learning things in there. I'm going to go through and actually organize this one too. So this is currently what the play area is looking like. Um, ignore the table. I'm getting ready to clean that up actually right now. But this is what it looks like so far. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere really, really nice with this. I am proud of my work so far, so I'll come back and do another video as I get everything together in this room, so just stay tuned for that, but this is the very beginning of their play area. This is what we have so far, and I like it, and I'll include a before picture so you can kind of refresh your memory. 
how everything looked. Like I said, I'm going to get everything off of that table. Um, so when I post the after picture, that's not going to even be there. Thank you all for watching today's video on how I on how I'm transforming the boys' play area. Stay tuned to see what I do with this room, what we add, and all that great stuff. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me some ideas of what to put on the wall. Um, if you have a product that you know I can use as a toy box, I would really appreciate that because I am looking for something other than this little. Um, blue thing here. I mean, it works for right now, but definitely need another color to go with the scheme of things. So, yeah. yeah. Bye.